Well, we, we had an incident, to my surprise, where uh, Professor Dine uh, used a term for what can happen physically to a woman who has done a lot of extreme sex scenes on video, um, where I immediately was like, stop, don't go any further, don't, don't uh, get more explicit with it. Our, our engineer, Justice Leventhal, also strongly reacted. And so our other guest, Professor uh, Tarrant, started laughing when she saw how, like, no, don't go any further, don't, don't reference it. Um, sometimes things just come out of the mouths of guests that uh, might be difficult for listeners or for me to hear. You just have to go with the flow. That's the way it is. Um, in this case, it was a term that sent me to the dictionary to look it up. And if you want more, you can check my blog posting from late Thursday night. Yeah, I'm amazed that we don't have more of a problem with a line being crossed by uh, a listener who calls in or by one of our guests. But in the 25 years I've been doing the program, we've been really fortunate not to have a lot of those instances. But I remember from one of the early years of doing Air Talk when phone sex services were just starting up. And I, I had on a, a woman who ran a phone sex service, and it just coincidentally happened that We'd had several lights burn out in the studio. This was our old Pasadena City College location that was truly like a closet, tiny little studio. So it had this sort of less professional air about it, shall we say. And I think she felt like we were just a couple of people talking as opposed to there being thousands of people listening. And she used a couple of terms that were not suitable for on-air broadcast uh, that uh, I immediately had to stop her train of thought bring her back to what are appropriate standards and, and move on from there. But very, very rarely has that happened.